The Unimog U5000 has a compact driver's cab. It's made of steel and mounted at three points. For repairs and maintenance on the engine, tilt the cab forward. First, make sure there are no loose objects inside the cab. Then you have to completely disconnect the cabin from the frame. To do this, remove four bolts, one under each seat and one under each of the floor mats. Then set up the hood and open the clips for the radiator cover. and take it off. Open the hinge locks on the hood with a square wrench. Remove the hood. On both sides of the vehicle, hook in the tilt axis. To do this, remove the bolt on the shock absorber. Now attach the hinge. And secure it with a cotter pin on the chain. Repeat these steps on the other side of the vehicle. The shock absorber must be removed. Undo the lower bolt and take it out along with the shock absorber. Do the same on the other side. Then disconnect the sensor plug on the intake manifold. Open all of the hose clamps on the intake and remove the hose. Also remove the air intake pipe of the alternator. Just as the lower air conditioning hose. Then open the quick release fasteners at the top. Take out the system completely and attach the unit to the cooler. There's an extra attachment for this. The exhaust pipe must also be disconnected. To do this, open the clamp and loosen the flex pipe. Done. Now you can insert the pump rod and set the valve to lift. Tilt the cab forward using muscle power. The steering shaft is separated. Also watch out for the exhaust pipe. It must not get caught. Secure the cab with aircraft cable and a supporting rod so that it doesn't overturn or fold down. The engine is now accessible for all works. To bring the cab back into the starting position, you'll need a colleague. He operates the pump handle while you thread in the steering shaft. 
Make sure that the gear teeth engage in one another. They only fit in one position. Pay special attention to the splash guard and the exhaust pipe. Direct the pipe so that it does not get crushed. When the cab is completely pumped down again, the mounting and reassembly takes place in the reverse order.